Delhi is now facing a severe pollution crisis as toxic foam continues to appear in the Yamuna River, raising significant health concerns, big health concerns for the residents. Uh, the situation escalated. BJP leader Virain Sachdeva was hospitalized due to breathing difficulties and skin irritation after protesting by taking a dip in the polluted river. Now, his act has conducted uh, his act conducted at the Ghat near ITO, aimed to criticize the Amal Party-led government for allegedly misusing 3,000 crore rupees uh, intended for cleaning the Yamuna. In fact, BJP leader Shah Zayalmi has highlighted the dire circumstances faced by Delhi, uh, uh, you know, residents, and uh, also noting the city's air quality index recently hitting 237. That is uh, categorized as poor. Take a listen into what Shah Zayalmi had to say. Virendra Sajdeva ji bimar ho gaye hain. Do din pehle unhone Yamuna nadi mein dubki lagai thi. Ujagar karne ke liye ki kya pradushan ki halat hai. Aur sochiye do din pehle unhone dubki lagai. Aaj wo sath hospital mein bharti hain. Pure body mein unke rashes hain. Wo saas hi le pa rahe hain. Apni jaan ko jokhim mein dal kar. Apni swas ke saath khilbaad kar kar unhone sirf ujagar karne ke liye ki Yamuna mein kitni pradushan hai. कितने जहरीले झाग हैं, कितने केमिकल वेस उसके अंदर हैं, क्या बदहाली है वहाँ की और क्या छठ पर्व से ठीक पहले क्या हालत है वहाँ पे? उन्होंने किसी भी बात की परवाह किए बगैर उसमें डुबकी लगाई और 48 घंटों में उनकी हालत देखिए, पहले कभी उनको इस तरह की शिकायतें नहीं थीं, सांस लेने में दिक्कत आ रही है और मुझे लगता है कि वीरेंद्र भाई सिर्फ नहीं, उनकी तरफ से हम सब लोग और दिल्लीवासी क्योंकि ये भाजपा कांग्रेस आपका मुद्दा नहीं है, ये दिल्लीवासियों की सेहत का मुद्दा है और क्या क्या है केजरीवाल जी ने 3000 करोड़ रुपए का कहाँ गए वो 3000 करोड़ रुपए? क्या वो टोटो के टॉयलेट लगवा रहे थे उसके? वो टोटो की सीट्स खरीद रहे थे? जापानीज़ टॉयलेट्स की? जकूज़ी खरीद रहे थे उससे? वो सारा पैसा था दिल्ली के लोगों के लिए, यमुना नदी के लिए, एक पवित्र नदी के लिए और दिल्ली के लोगों के लिए। अब हालत वहाँ आदमी पार्टी को दिए थे सिर्फ और सिर्फ यमुना नदी जी के लिए कि सफाई के लिए उसका हिसाब दें Kali Gopi is joining us live on the broadcast from New Delhi. Now, Gopi, of course, uh, it's very difficult to, in fact, see the background because it's uh, the haze is so, in, uh, you know, so much intensifying. Uh, Delhi and are shrouded with this uh, toxic uh, air right now, as usual this time of the year. The politics now also intensifying with the, the entire Virin Sachdeva episode. Uh, you know, BJP uh, talking about his uh, health after uh, he took that dip and demonstrated how uh, the, you know, polluted the river is but uh, what is the latest update you're picking up uh, of course on Shasdeva's health and also uh, how the Amani party is handling the situation Well, in fact, uh, Rakshita, it was uh, later yesterday evening that uh, Virendra Sachdeva uh, was taken back home uh, from the RML hospital. Uh, this is the latest update. While uh, he had taken dip uh, three days back in the Yamuna River and uh, as per the medical reports, uh, what we have uh, learned from our sources is it was uh, the pollutants, uh, phosphorus, uh, which had uh, affect affected uh, his skin as well as uh, breathing, entire breathing. And uh, he was choked uh, and because of that he was hospitalized now what we are picking up from yesterday is uh, a high level meeting was called uh, by uh, gopal rai wherein uh, the union ministers uh, bupender yadav as well as shivraj singh chauhan were also present along with uh, the neighboring states uh, environment ministers where they were uh, sitting together and trying to chalk out plan uh, for the upcoming days as the central uh, pollution control board uh, has released that by october 31st uh, there is a possibility that AQI might reach to 400. But uh, since past two days, uh, we have seen a considerable uh, change uh, in the AQI, where yesterday AQI was 281, while today morning uh, it is 227, so which is decreased from very poor to poor quality. Now, uh, one of the important uh, reasons uh, which was cited in that meeting was that uh, there is decrease in stubble burning in Punjab. Uh, there are only 1,500 cases registered uh, this year, compared to 5,000 in last year but there is rise in stubble burning in uh, Uttar Pradesh as well as Haryana where we've already seen two days back uh, 18 farmers were arrested uh, uh, in case of stubble burning 
So we will have to uh, wait and watch what kind of measures uh, would be taken by the Delhi government as uh, they are failing miserably. There are smoke towers which have been raised at 13 different locations in Delhi at the cost of uh, 22 crore, but still uh, those uh, towers are not functional. I am standing right here uh, at uh, Akshardham flyover and you can see uh, a thin layer of uh, smog uh, which has covered the temple as well as uh, highway there uh, you can see. So this uh, is the exact condition of Delhi at uh, 7.30 a.m. in the morning today. Uh, so yes, uh, we will have to wait and watch uh, what kind of measures would be taken by the Amadmi party. Back to you, Rakshita. Absolutely. Of course, it uh, leaves us wondering that what will happen post Diwali as every year we see the AQI touching the 400 mark as it is now being uh, feared once again. Thanks so much, Gopi, for the moment joining us with those updates coming in on that uh, story. Now, we, we, we shift our focus to the other 